an excellent example that encompasses all the types of dispersions that we've talked about is ice cream. Ice cream is both a foam, an emulsion, and colloidal particles. So ice cream is a foam because there are lots of bubbles of air inside of it. It's an emulsion because we make it out of milk, and milk itself is an emulsion of fat drops in the milk. It's a colloidal suspension because some of these fat drops are solid-like objects. They're little f uh, solid uh, fat drops, and they sit at the interface of the bubbles of the air, and they stabilize the bubbles of the air. So ice cream is one of the tastiest examples of all the types of dispersions there are. The stability of ice cream arises both because there are colloidal particles or fat particles that stabilize the interface of the bubbles, but also because then the continuous phase, the water phase, is frozen and becomes itself a solid. So the foam itself becomes solid, and that prevents the motion of the drops of the air from coming to one another and coalescing. In order to understand the ice cream better, let's look at some images of ice cream. We can look and see the bubbles of ice cream directly if we look in a microscope. But a much better way to image the ice cream is to use an electron microscope. Then we can retain the full structure of the ice cream because we can make, take the images while it's cold, and we can see all the details. So here's an image of ice cream taken with an electron microscope, and you can see that it's a foam. You can see these bubbles of air. And if we look more carefully, you see that there's globules of fat. These are the colloidal particles that are stabilizing the interface of the bubbles. That's the colloidal particles stabilizing the foam by sitting at the interface. You can't actually see the emulsion because the emulsion is the solid continuous phase. It's milk and therefore or cream. It's an emulsion because there are fat drops inside the milk. You don't see that in the, in the microscope image, but you do see the fact that there are colloidal particles, the stability, the stabilizing uh, objects on the drops of, the air, of air, which is the foam that makes the, my, the ice cream. So when you make ice cream, you cool it down, you whip it up, you stir it, so you mix in air to create the foam, and you freeze it. The, by mixing the air, by mixing it, to make the bubbles of air, you also bring the particles to the interfaces of the bubbles that stabilizes the bubble, and then you freeze it, you solidify it to change the continuous phase from water into a solid, into ice, so it's a solid, and that stabilizes it. And that solid is, in fact, a solid emulsion because there are drops of fat inside the water, which has become ice, and that's the emulsion part.